Surprise Nobody difference. cared about your stupid documentary. <laughs> Let's you fuck them off by door. canceling all these court, all these um, concerts, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get people talking about you. That's possible. I mean, that's but I just possible. feel like that's so redundant. Like, why does that, that? To me, that just doesn't make sense because it's gonna. The fact that they have to refund so many people, like, yeah, yeah that's money sold for out. them. That's a lot. But Still the fact a lot that we're sitting tickets. here for 15 minutes talking about her, and then you know how many priceless. remakes of that video that you even did, Lita? That's <laughs> priceless. So they're probably making a lot of money off, but just getting the money exactly. back oh from like that. Off that's of that. what I'm talking about. Because that Lita didn't even know what was going on. She just remade the video. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Lita Fazal. I own Tone Hair Salon in Raleigh, North Carolina. I invented the Swan Method, and I have a U.S. patent on it. And this is Hair and There. If you're not already following us, make sure you follow us on Spotify, Apple, and YouTube, Lita Fazal, and you can hear and see the whole entire podcast. We have got our gang here, Miss Luce, our amazing receptionist. Hello, everybody. We've got <laughs> Jerika, who's um, fairly new. She's our tonette, our assistant at the salon. Hello, everybody. Slowly getting into hair. And then we've got Kaylin, who's been doing hair for a couple years. And then, of course, I've been hi. doing hair for over 21 years. All right, now you guys can say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, what did everybody do today? I worked um, a little, then I came home and then did this. Um, I worked. You were in, she was in inventory hell. Yeah. Yes. At the sweatshop. I left her there. I oh. left her there like that. <laughs> She's um, calling the sweatshop tone hair salon, by the way. Um, we, <laughs> um I was at work as well. Um I did some Your second yeah. job. I did two yeah, I worked two jobs. What today, time have you been up since? Since yesterday, seven AM. Bless your heart. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Imagine so, and then calling. I went into the salon and I did two um two clients and then I was off. Okay. Yeah. What'd you do, Kayla? I slept. Yes. <laughs> slept. I in. slept. But this morning I was productive. I I did a few yeah. things. Took care of some things. And then from like twelve thirty to about five o'clock, I slept. Good. Good for you. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> Over rejuvenated. Yeah. All right. So on this podcast, it's hair and there. So we do talk about hair. We talk about there. We talk about everything. Today, we are going to talk about some crazy shit, really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're going to talk about some of a couple of my viral videos, actually, that are we have got to go through these comments because it's kind of insane. And I think that sometimes our videos kind of maybe go over people's heads or a lot of they the don't get the joke. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to explain the joke. Okay. So this first one, I'm going to, I'm going to show it to you guys. And just so you guys are familiar with it and it's in your head. Okay. Which one is this one? This is the one where you're asking the girl, like, she's like, oh, I'm going to tip later. Oh. And you're like, when? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you zoomed in on my face. Yeah. Lose your face. face. I, you know. Know. I know. I know exactly which one it was when y'all did it. And I said, I was here for that. I know the exact moment. <laughs> okay, here it is. It has 409,000 views. My goodness. And it has got 1,100 1, comments on it. It's got almost 6,000 likes on it. Wow. And this is on Facebook, right? This is on Facebook. I, I took it down on TikTok because it really wasn't doing well. So I was like, <laughs> um, that's what I do. I, I'm I'm notorious for that. Like if my video isn't doing well and Take I'm like, down. I deserve so much more. I'm taking that down. Um, put it on Facebook. <laughs> See, Facebook, Facebook is, shows you that love. Facebook is like my side chick. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, she always comes through. She yeah, I stay seemingly on Facebook. I feel like I scroll through because Facebook is an interesting group, man. They're, I like Facebook. I'm not gonna lie, it's an interesting like, group. Yeah, you can really like. It's got the best conversations on there. Okay, 
Okay, here's the video. Just Kay. so you guys can all see it, Hi, girl, hear it. Your hair. I love it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, you can go ahead and check out, and then I'll see you in a few weeks, okay? Okay. Awesome. How did you like your service today? Oh, it was amazing. Okay, um, were you wanting to leave a tip today? Um, I'll leave it next time. Oh, okay. When? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already laughing because I like no. Um, so I can put it in the books and the stylist can know when to expect the tip. Hey. Oh, um, <laughs> and she does so good playing. I'm not sure um, when I'll be back, but I'm back. I guess I'll leave it right now. It's okay, you <laughs> can do that too. <laughs> um, okay, that was yeah. perfect though, because that's, I swear I like witnessed it and it was like. Kaylee did do a good job, though, dude. That's yeah. how awkwardly it was. Just but Luz, so awkward. Luz puts me out when she... Okay, when? Yeah. Well, because <laughs> what, hap what, what happened was, um, maybe, like, the day before, um, there was... Oh, it was... <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm telling too much here. It was... A, I think it was a D-Matic. Yeah, one. it was a oh, D-Matic. I already yeah. know. Yeah. Yes. And, and, like oh would you like to tip and she goes no like i'll tip next time and then i one of y'all were like when, when? yeah like, I, when? <laughs> you're, I hope you don't come back like we just dematted your hair you know but anyways uh, you know sorry no offense <laughs> maybe she will be back for color or something but mm -hmm. and we okay i need to preface this we as stylists at tone hair salon have set our prices where if a, if you choose to tip, it is a bonus. It is nice. Um, I tip anywhere from my electrician to my plumber to my massage therapist to my nail. If somebody's doing a service for me, I tip mm -hmm. no matter how much it is. Now, that doesn't have to be for everybody. You know right. what I mean? Like our prices are set that if we don't make a tip on it, we're okay. okay. We're yeah. not begging for a tip. The tip is a bonus. It's showing a little bit of extra, like you did, a, you went above and beyond. I wanna give it to you, but mm -hmm. don't feel obligated, okay? That's the bottom line. Right. You wanna go through some of the comments? Sure. <laughs> okay, so this video went completely wrong, okay? Everybody, and I wrote in the caption, Okay, wait, will we read the caption? Okay, the caption says, making things awkward. Disclaimer, tips are not mandatory or expected. This is for entertainment purposes. Nobody read it. <laughs> not at all. Nobody that's, read that's it. That's what I never do. Read, I don't read the caption. Reading comments. is fundamental. <laughs> Asking for a tip is so unprofessional. And it goes on. If I saw this, I would literally book with you to not tip LMAO <laughs> ridiculous entitled behavior. <laughs> OMG. They get so mad. It, it, oh. When people ask me about a tip, it makes me not want to tip. Now, here's the thing. I get it. Like, I'm not tipping the Starbucks person. I'm not tipping the person at the gas station. Mm -mm. I'm not tipping the person that gets an hourly rate that doesn't, I, and I did all the work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, no. And I'm already paying $10 for a Starbucks. Like, I'm not, don't make me feel awkward. But People this. were so aggressive in the comments. Oh right. Yeah. This Keep, woman, uh, she's like, none of your damn business is when I'm leaving the tip. <laughs> <laughs> They, I mean, they went, they went nuts, and I had to keep showing a screenshot of the caption. I'm like, like, Did hello. Read? And then I even commented, um, "Love that nobody read the caption." And then I still got hate. People were still hating. They're like, "Your caption sucks." <laughs> oh, they are so hateful. You know, it's crazy. I'm just seeing your comment back to me, where I was like, "Tips are appreciated, but not required." And you said, "From the very receptionist in this video, so everyone can calm down now." <laughs> <laughs> oh I my god! I do fuck with people. <laughs> I, I, I do. Like, like Lita, you're like one of the biggest trolls. It's so she funny. is. She <laughs> is for real. Like I, I troll I, my I own audience up under TikTok so many times. Like it's ridiculous. Like you're number one at the top every time. And it's like she be going and like saying stuff just to t like it kind of seems like it ticks them off because they immediately be like commenting up under it. Like only our comments. But the truth of the matter is, I don't do it on purpose. Like you it's just me. Like you be speaking your truth and yeah, like I'm like they hate and that. people just don't always agree with you and you're just not afraid. You're to like it. I don't. Care. Be who you I, are. I said what I said. I said what I said. <laughs> but that video was supposed to just be 
funny ha ha joke. It's called a skit. It's a reason. skit. And then I, and also, I don't know how they can't tell us a skit. I don't yeah. know why they don't never date <laughs> their kids. Like, they they think the the acting time, is so life. good. <laughs> the <laughs> acting <laughs> is good, but it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Everybody hates and my like, acting. I mean... <laughs> Loose. Maybe we need to start it. putting hashtag skits. <laughs> my acting was too spot on. Yeah. yeah. When? Kaylee, too. Kaylee looked like she a little really, confused. Kaylee, little, I swear she did it. Little, just like, the, uh, like uh, up to the uh, side, too. Uh, she was standing up to the side. She did it this time. She's like, um, I mean... I don't know if you caught the part in the end of the video where I pass her the little tap thing. <laughs> I, I did. You said that we cool. So I was like, that's okay too. And then I passed the tip. <laughs> I mean, the little um, checkout thing. Right. Okay. So everybody, just to be clear, that was literally a joke. And I think that's what, you know, uh, I get the whole tipping culture is awful right now. Like I so get terrible. it. And so probably wasn't the right time to put out the video, um, to be honest. It probably wasn't because everybody's so pissed with the tipping culture, and I 100% get it. But it was just a joke. It was just like, what if we said when? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you would never do that. You would never right. ask a question. I would never, like, I don't know. If a guy says, I'm going to tip you later. Tip later. Like, yeah. Well, you know what? As a waitress, I've had people say, "Oh darn, I don't have any cash on me, and I don't. I want to tip you cash." They're, and they'll be, and they've been uh, like, "I'm gonna go to an ATM, and I'm gonna bring it back to you." Did they? And and, and they you never know come what? back. I had people come back. Really? That is yes. crazy. At Cheesecake okay. Factory when I worked there, I had people go into the mall, down to the food court, go to that damn ATM, and bring me back the change well, or the that's cash. The they probably was like, "Well, at least you probably." But there has you know, been like, a time or two they didn't. Do you but know? there's been a couple of times they did. Do you remember that? I think it was a D Madding also who um <laughs> what? She, she, I didn't get to she go goes, to the ATM. Oh yeah. As soon as and we're, we're all we done. All soon like, we're all like, done. We're all like, I mean, when I tell you I knew Lita was probably like uh, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Wait, what do like, you we're mean? all about but to be in your car. To... We're all about to be running to the ATM with you. <laughs> That's where we're going right now. <laughs> and it's funny because that same day we did a video with yeah, that's um, Kaylee did. <laughs> Kaylee did uh, that really? video too. Nobody got on that one, I don't think. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, but she ended up saying she goes, "But I have my credit card," and we were like, "She, she should have led with that, though." She should have led with that. Hundred that. percent. I mean, I know she saw all of our face like the way that she got up from the chair after like, six hours okay, of dematting. Well, it was to go to the ATM. It, it was almost like, well, I mean. I don't know if I'll be able to pay you today. That's how I felt like she was yeah. about to be like. She's like, and I forgot to go to the ATM. <laughs> what? Like it took all of us and not to all said, cry. After she said, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Good. Drink of you killing me. No, because that's where I felt like Lita. I was like, I don't know why I be feeling like I'm getting in trouble about stuff, but when she <laughs> said that, I said, Ooh. Okay. I don't want to be in your position. <laughs> Lita about to go yeah, right like, on you. <laughs> No, I would have been like, well, you're going to have to leave something <laughs> no, or take us all. <laughs> take us all. <laughs> I can really see you getting in the car and riding one or two. Oh, yes. We would yeah. all, it would be a team effort. Yeah. We'd be all riding to like the Like we ATM. did that one video in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's still one of my favorite videos we've made. Yeah. It was uh, hilarious. All right. Second video. Let's go to it. I'm trying to think what it is. What is it again? It's the, I mean, we have the box braid one and the other one is. Um... Oh, yeah. Okay. So the box braid one's going to be interesting because I honestly, I haven't responded to anybody. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> because I honestly don't know how to respond to this. Okay. So I think it's going to be very interesting to hear everybody's opinions on mm -hmm. this because I feel like I don't know much about it. So I, I, I can't, I don't have enough to say. To comment back to anybody. Yeah. So this is really going to be on you guys. This all right? is my first time seeing this. The skit. The little sketch. Whatever the. The stitch? Yeah, stitch. Which Thanks. one? I, the one that you Oh, the was, stitch about the box yeah. break video. Is this oh, one? yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. there's been a few stitches like that. Really? Yes. And so, and Not I want you mad. guys to read the comments. <laughs> but okay, so we did a matting on somebody, um, a Caucasian girl. Which was somewhat Which, Caucasian. Yeah, she, she wasn't she's really. She's not even just like Caucasian. She's. She I really can't wasn't. remember. I feel like she was like 
Italian and something else. I don't know, but she had some texture she to her hair. Hair type she had hair. She had melanin like. in her skin. Like she wasn't just uh, she wasn't Ashley. Yeah, it just wasn't no silk fine thing. You know, like yeah, it, 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 it had some. I feel texture. like she. All right, well, let's show the video first. Okay. okay. Let's do that some hair. So this guest actually had gotten box braids done a little while ago, and what happened was she had taken them out. She had washed her hair, she combed it, and she went right to bed. Well, a few hours later, she woke up, and this is how her hair looked. She was rocking magic The background music is like, I know. That, 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 that be killing me. It's emotional. It seems full of the heartstrings. No more knots. We were super excited. We were like, we were no, super hair was we so pretty. Like yeah, when I diffused, I was like, this There's Caitlyn's yeah. de- debut. Of- no. <laughs> yeah, she did good. No, I you hate it. Uh, you sound just like, Lita, okay, now turn around. <laughs> hey, y'all. There it is. My dad looks amazing. Yeah, her hair was still so healthy. Yeah. Like, in- her hair Look at her playing with said, it. Mm-hmm. She told me that her hair gets tangled and stuff like, mm-hmm. like she's used to that. <laughs> All right, you guys want to go to the videos and read the comments? Actually, had gotten box braids done a little while ago, and Listen what that. happened was she. <clears throat> so. I know the what the comments. So this were. is another video that went terribly wrong. <laughs> to be honest, they just don't get us. <laughs> Okay, one says, now what did we learn today? That's a lot that we were getting. Like, yeah. Now, what what did we learn? Like, well, like, well, well. It's all, it's all insinuating the same exact thing. Right. Basically, that was, white people shouldn't get box braids. Right. Right. Yeah. Basically, <clears throat> which I even commented and said, anybody can get box braids because that is true. Literally, I don't feel like you have to have a certain texture to get additional bre- hair synthetic hair regardless into your hair to make uh to you know have extensions of braids like but she didn't can, get some like she was just using her actual little, hair she had a little bit in there she said just, they added a little bit to the end just oh, yeah. which is normal when you get down to the end because you don't want it to be very thin you mm-hmm. want to kind of make it look mm-hmm. match the top mm-hmm. i've had box but, braids before like i've gotten braids twice okay i mean it's people possible. <laughs> yeah i mean it's just a style. Literally. It's just braids. So it, I mean, but these videos, <clears throat> these comments were saying like it it doesn't work for Caucasian hair. Like, is that true? And they never explained why not. Like how? Like tell I me think your it's theory. Just a, like a cultural thing, or like maybe like some people. I don't know because I've seen a lot of like conversations where black people are like white people shouldn't be getting braids, or like Hispanic people shouldn't get be getting braids. Stuff like that. I just it, it's it, it's a cultural. It is. It's just really like it's not that it the white people or Hispanic people or people with finer texture hairs um, can't get it like physically like it's not right. like it's not possible. It's just that they, they don't feel like they don't they want, want them to have, them to have it fine. because it's it's a stigma. Like you know, people grew up with certain things culturally growing up and braids is something that black women always have had they mm-hmm. kind of was saying like it, they don't want to share like that with that you. because they feel like they already have to this can so be very controversial but really like, can, I could, like i could make like a very good like comparison for you to try and make it kind of like understand but i don't right. know if i want to say like, that yeah that's okay but but like, it's, saying it's, it's, it's more so than not wanting you to take possibly something else it's just that they don't much. want you to do it basically right? yeah and it's like you know it's not like it can't be done. It's a protective style. Literally. It can be it's for anybody. Helpful. It can help with hair growth. Mm-hmm. Anybody could do it. Lita, you could do it. People go to the Caribbeans on trips and you see people on the side of the street braiding mm-hmm. hair and they braid all types of hair textures. Yeah. All it's types. Like, it's literally possible. Like, I mean. I was just shocked by the comments. Like, I was just I like. Just, see, it was a bunch of. I mean, she just went through people. hell. <laughs> like, she had to come here, fly here. To mm-hmm. get her hair dematted, which is not like an easy situation anyway. And so I was just like, wow, this is the first dematting video that people were not happy with. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of just it one, was a cultural... one race up under there, too. That was really, I was seeing a lot. I mean, personally, I don't think pe- white people look good with braids, but 
That's just my opinion. I mean, I think it depends on who you are, your face, you know, like, yeah, like, but, you know, what you're wearing, how you wear them. Right. Cause I mean, like the ones that she had, the two in the front. I wanted um, her to. I wanted her to take those out so bad. I said, you don't want me to. I said. She said, I'm going to keep them. I said, and you hear me say, well, don't keep them in too long. I mean, <laughs> it's not meant to stay in that long. True yeah. stuff. She keep it like Anyways, in those, <laughs> those like, braids were small, knotless braids. Mm-hmm. And I think that the small, knotless mm-hmm. braids look a little more natural. If she were to do something more like medium, knotless, or large, knotless, then, okay, like. She would have threw off <laughs> Weird. Like, you know, you don't need that, but like, some smaller, finer braids could look like you braided your natural hair. Didn't she mention that that wasn't the first time that she She said it had happened once before, but she also said she's been doing this for like, I want to say like 10 years. Yeah. Getting these braids, like that it helps her maintain her hair. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, it's like this has happened twice. But she said she got she it said, out herself the first time. She told me when she was younger, like her hair would tangle all the time. When like, she, she was a child. She had, like, mm-hmm. um, really, like, she would call it frizzy. <laughs> you know, and I would say, you know, it was a little coarser. That's it. But, but her yeah. problem was she took out the box braids at night mm-hmm. and then went to bed. She didn't comb it out. Yeah, that's yeah. what I yeah. said, too. And that's yeah. with, and at least in my experience, um, it can, it's so easy to get matted because, like, with my hair type, it, they put jam in it when they're braiding it, mm-hmm. so that can cause that product can cause your hair to lock up. Yeah, you cannot just take the braids out and not brush it. And you like, have to like wash for my hair. Like immediately, I, I, I comb through it afterwards. Like yeah, <laughs> when I take my <laughs> she, <laughs> she, <laughs> when I take my braids out, I be like, oh, my curls is popping. I'm gonna wear it like this for another day or two. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, no, I did do that, but <laughs> exactly. I did do that, but exactly, my hair don't be tangling. I guess it don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, also, her hair was thin too at the same time yeah. and like fine so it you was just, just have to know friction. what you can do with your hair mm-hmm. like and braids are convenient really mm-hmm. I'm about to it's not that she couldn't have the braids months. it's that she just needed to once she took them out she needed to wash out all of yeah. the product mm-hmm. but like having the braids itself there's nothing wrong with it I'm sure she looked great with them in like I'm there's nothing wrong with somebody who is not you know, African American having braids. It's just kind of more a cultural thing. So, and honestly, I don't care coming from that culture. <laughs> I don't frankly care. <laughs> do whatever you want to do to your hair. If you say, I mean, I'm, I'm just asking question, question do, though. I work people that care that much and are that hateful towards it. Like, what's the reason? Exactly. What's literally, literally, what I mean, the point? if you think about it, there's a lot of like African American women who get highlights and stuff. And extensions, mm-hmm. trying to be blonde and um, want long hair. Well, some platinum. Like, so it's, what's the difference? <laughs> Remember that the client that I had over the summer who um, she was mixed mm-hmm. and then I did highlights or, or on her. her sister? Yeah, both of them. I yeah. did highlights and both videos, that. there was hate on it. And it was like, what the fuck? Like, why, why can't we highlight different hair like well i don't get it so they were mad because they got highlights i don't know they were they thought i also fried it because like Mm -hmm. when you took it out like it was curly they just don't like yeah they just uh, it's just people just don't know they 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 thought you fried the shit who's not the same race doing another oh my god i was like i didn't swipe away anything what the hell are you talking (laughs) about they were pissed on that video too anything about shrinkage anything about curliness like it's but people are always going to have these hateful opinions, always, like, no matter what. It's There's always going to be are. stigmas like that in society, especially with, like, racism still being so big. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I just feel like it's. there's always going to be some type of, you know, Well, to be 100% thing. honest, when I made the voiceover for that video, I had asked for details. You did. And they told me the details, and I said, the first thing I said is, like, if I say it like this, there are going to be some mad people. Mm -hmm. And right away, it was was almost within a second. Mm -hmm. Like, I had posted it, and it was like, boom. Well, well, well. I told you, no. I was like, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, she did. (laughs) But the thing is, it's because I don't think like that. Like, like, what? Like, what's the big talk? Like, I feel like you see she's got curl in her. You say she has texture in her. You say she has, you see that she has long hair. So, 
You know, not it's not like she's a blonde Ashley she, coming it's not in. Like, with, it'd be like Ashley getting braids. <laughs> yes, I could. If you said, should I include that she got box braids? I would say, no, don't let them know Barbie got box <laughs> braids. Right, right. But, but like, she, she didn't like she look does. like. She looked like she gets it not like it. She looked like she could she be like very... Hispanic or something mm-hmm. too. Like she's from New York. Like yeah, she definitely had that like style she's... to her. Like that was. You know, her vibe. And I was like, okay, I like People it. People should just be able to get whatever hairstyle they want to get. Mm-hmm. It's never that deep. <laughs> Bottom line. Or never that deep. don't make fun of them. Right. Like, you know what? If that's the way you feel, fine. Then maybe don't comment. But the fact that this woman, she had flown all the way from what? Missouri? New York. New York. New York? Oh. Missouri. <laughs> I don't she fucking know. Stayed out of Missouri. Right. She did in Missouri. I mean, is that where you want to go on vacation? Where? Alaska. No, she didn't come oh. there. So Nebraska. She flew all the way over. New Mexico. I don't know. And you know, she had been through a lot. It's been matted for a while, and we got it out. And that was like, that's it. Yeah. I, I she just, was happy. She. I only expect cheers and yeah. applauses. Right, we never really get the, pat, the the appreciation after doing all that. Like we really be making literally magic. I put the inspiration on music it behind be, it. You and really all. do. We be seeing like superheroes with that music. Yeah, that's why I always play it. And I mean, I showed her the text the that diffuser. the client texted from Sunday. She said, "You guys are little literal angels." Mm-hmm. I mean, some people are just so hateful. They don't understand like. You know, what these people are going through and, like, what this means to them. Yeah. So. Well. As long as our clients know. Yeah. Yeah. Our and she loved work. us. And yeah. She, you she know, was so sweet. Hopefully and we know she what we're see doing, that So video. it really doesn't matter what everybody else say. It's just crazy, though. It, yeah, it is crazy seeing how much hate is really out there in the world in general. Mm-hmm. How people have so much time on their hands. Like, Sit I've never personally time. in my life gone on TikTok and I'm not even a commenter anyways, <laughs> but if I was a commenter, I don't feel like I would be going to comment under stuff that, I don't like, as hateful, like you know? literally coming up and be like, um, let me think what to say. Doesn't that, like, bring your mm-hmm. personal energy That down? looks a mess. Like, well, who literally does you know, that? everybody's, you know, angry Different. behind the computer and they, they can say whatever they want so without crazy. regret behind a computer. I don't even think, right, I don't even think it'd be really meaning to... to what who they're trying to attack, but probably just their inner like mm-hmm. feelings, just mad about something. They're just mad at just the ready world. to yeah, ready to throw out hate on anybody because well. they're mad. All right, well, let's move along. The bottom mm-hmm. line is, you know, please respect our dematting clients, whether they've gotten box braids or they've gone through depression or they've been bedridden or they got a comb stuck in their hair or they went snorkeling, like. It's a big deal. And they came to us and we got it out. And that's really just the bottom line is well, just give us some support, you know? Yeah. Give us some grace. All right. Grace. All I right. Like that. The next topic, I know I'm going to like switch this up immediately, but basically we're going through some viral videos that are happening literally right now and they're controversial. So that's why we're bringing them up my favorite topic (laughs) she loves some controversy controversy so um so this happened i don't know if you guys have all seen the video yet i've seen your video okay so this happened when i was in saint thomas just a week ago and i was there literally it was a week ago on monday and uh that was my last day there no sunday was my last day there. And this, I went to the pool early and I saw this little girl and she had a one piece bathing suit on, but her, the bottoms were so like pulled up that it looked like a wedgie, like a Mm -hmm. real high wedgie. You could see things. And I was just like, maybe she went down the slide, you know, her, (laughs) there was a slide. I was like, you know, her parents will take care of this. (laughs) Surely, you know, and so I went about my business and went over to the beach and then I came back um, that afternoon evening and I was there with Joe and then another couple and this little girl like swims in between our legs, actually grabs onto mine and Joe's (laughs) and then (laughs) swims up to the ledge and the ledge wasn't very she wasn't in deep water by any means, Um, but she wanted to be picked up to be put over this ledge. And then um, it was just kind of like instinct that the other girl I was with picked her up 
And when she hit, like the, got onto the ground, she just like showed the world everything. And we're like, wait, what? Cause her, her, uh, her bathing suit was still like that. Uh -huh. It was still like a big old wedge. And the girl picked her up. Yeah. And then she like was bent, bent over. over. And then she just freaking showed. It was almost like it was like, you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. It was almost like it was freaking planned. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was just like, Lita, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, you're fucking crazy. Like, this yeah. is probably just. A, That's weird, though. I mean, she, she touched probably, you and Joe's leg. She was between six and eight years old. She probably, it's probably just a random thing. Yeah. Just like, whatever. So then I was, and then I remember right, right after that, she had gotten walked away by a staff member. But again, the staff member could be like a babysitter. It could be, you know, they hire so people. So you didn't see a parent on that? No, not, I never saw mm. her with an adult. But still, I wrote it off like, you know, maybe I'm just crazy. And that's, I, I do have those tendencies to be like a little bit yeah. overthinker. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I always worry about stuff like that. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we all know the whole Nickelodeon yeah. thing. Like we all know it's happening. I always jump to conclusions as well. So I yeah. Mean, nine times out of 10, we kind of. But the thing right is, there. most of the time it happens in front of your face. Yeah. It happens in plain sight and most people don't mm -hmm. see it. Mm -hmm. And, and even this, I wrote it off. I was just like, whatever. You so know, why did she get walked away with the staff member? I don't know. Now that the part that threw me off because uh, right, like where's the where parents are? Like where are you going with them? So anymore? she was never with a parent. I mean, but or... I didn't pay attention to this girl. I mean, I only saw her twice for but a the couple fact minutes. that you seen her in the morning and then you came back in the afternoon mm -hmm. and she was still there. It's almost That's... like when you when they when you know when people not you know sex work, but like when like when people stand on the strata of the street. Mm -hmm. They say in one area, that's where they work at. It's almost like mm -hmm. they had her there working and then they took her away because her shit was mean, over. The thing is, as a kid, I would spend the whole entire day at the pool. Without your like parents in St. Thomas? No. Right. <laughs> we never got to St. Thomas. Right. And I'm not going to Myrtle Beach. Beach. <laughs> Even in <laughs> Myrtle Beach, I wouldn't spend either. all day by myself. My mom would not allow that. Yeah, no, I'm not walking. And I'm not walking away with nobody. Either. And with her, you said being the age between six and eight, like, She's not even supposed to be at the pool by herself. Yeah, you need an adult. Mm -hmm. And did she? What did she look like ethnically? Like she was white, brown hair, brown eyes. Mm. Yeah. To me, it's the fact that she swam under and right. grabbed and your legs. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Grab both. So um, I'm gonna just show you guys that video anyway, just so um, this is where Solomon's gonna insert it. That sounded horrible. Insert here. <laughs> Look, insert it right here. I feel like you don't need to cut that part. <laughs> he just shook his head. He's like, I cannot stop this. I'm thinking about this constantly. And this is a trigger warning. This is like three minutes long. Mm -hmm. Bear with us. If you think I'm crazy, then just come and delete. I'll just delete this video. If you think this, I'm onto something, then share it and spread the word. I went to St. Thomas last week, just last week. We did take a boat ride. We saw the St. Lil James, which is Epstein Island, which no longer really exists, blah, blah, blah. But while we were staying in St. Thomas, we were staying at the Ritz, the Ritz in St. Thomas. This is important. I've never been to a Ritz. So I was expecting like a whole lot, a whole lot nicer. It was cool. It was nice. It wasn't bad. But I found it strange that the kids that, that were there they were, they were very, like, well-behaved children. They weren't, like, your crazy kids like I grew up. I don't know. Like, they were they were quiet and just, just, I don't know, it was just odd. It was just eerie. It was just, like, an eerie, weird thing. On my last day there, um, I, I paid no mind to it. I was just like, yeah, family, this is what rich people do, I guess. Whatever. This little girl <laughs> is wearing a one-piece bathing suit. But her, the back of her bathing suit is, like, so pulled up, almost looks like a wedgie. And a lot is showing. And I'm like, this is weird. This is the morning of, like, my last day there. And I was like, surely her parents will put it down. And I'm going to go on. I went to the beach. Came back later on that evening to go in the pool. And her her bathing suit was still the same. And then I'm thinking, well, okay, maybe it's, like, a European thing. I don't know. It, it was strange. <laughs> Lena's funny. Oh, you know? A million excuses. You was. You did. You, you tried it. Beach, and it's not very deep at all. And this little girl actually runs right in between us. And she's like, she's like, oh, I need to get on the ledge. I need to get on the ledge. I think she was hoping 
one of the men would pick her up. Well, the other girls would picked her up. And then the way that she like slammed into, went on top of the, the ground, it, she literally showed everything that me and my two guy friends and my mother friend, my other friend. Not my two guy other, friends. Like, two guy friends. <laughs> A guy friend, not my husband. My guy. Drinking that guy friend title. But Lena kills me. You have a husband, not a guy friend. Weird thing. And then I I came home, and it's been five days, six days, and all I could think about was this little girl and how just it was just strange. I can't really explain. I'm giving you the best that I possibly can. And then I said, you know what? Let me go to the reviews on St. Thomas on the Ritz Carlton because you know, sometimes these reviews have these little weird things in them. Okay, here we go. So, what is weak? What is weak? What does that mean? What does that mean? I googled it. Am I crazy? Is Ritz Carlton St. Thomas the new Epstein Island? I don't know, man. That's freaking weird. So, what do you think? is this is am I is this a reach? Am I am I crazy? Or do you think this is something that is something's going on? Right. <laughs> she sounds she sound worried for sure. Well, because she I, always but worried. um not only want to be right. I didn't right. know. I forgot that that was. Is that where his island's at? Where yeah. Is, yeah. So, what do y'all think about that whole? It's that same similar like you know um, subject. But what do y'all think about the Nickelodeon logo looking like his I freaking know. island? I never even thought. Well, to and then think also, that. but Nickelodeon before that was the foot. It was because and he apparently it was. Snyder was like had oh. a foot fetish. It was. I remember that because I used Did to. You just I see the draw Ariana it. Grande video where she's squeezing the potato. Yeah, Did the you one see where the she bend the yes. water behind. Yes. Yeah, with the and water like, pouring on her. But I mean, it's wrong. And then the pivot that's guy is the one that they're talking about right mm-hmm. now. That's actually like the one that um abused Drake Bell or whatever his real name is. That his real name, Drake Bell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what was his name? Um, not Dan, but the other one was Brian, was Brian, Brian Peck. Peck. He's the one who's like the pickle guy of Nickelodeon. He's like, you see all these pickles just stacked up. It just look <laughs> odd. Like, it's very odd. But it's now like that I think about it, pickles. they also say Spongebob address is the same as um, Epstein's uh, like island address. Wow. Ain't that crazy? I said, don't try to put my guy Spongebob up in there. That was mm-hmm. good. Don't I put my guy Spongebob I loved him. I, don't know. Like, I loved you, him. If you've watched Spongebob before, there's also like little inappropriate Definitely. stuff throughout the show. Uh-huh. There's what? weird things that they say and do. And it's like any Nickelodeon show if you watch All it. Of them like they that. have yeah. weird yeah. stuff. Did y'all ever watch Run and Stimpy? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. shit was wild. <laughs> wild. Wait, that one? <laughs> the young girl was something like that. That shit was on another level. <laughs> was that on Nickelodeon too? I don't know. Was it on Nickelodeon? Was it cartoon? What, what were they doing? Oh, have I can't y'all even seen explain the it. I y'all it. I have the not yet. I watched the whole thing last night. Like. <sighs> I haven't it was watched the so whole thing, weird. but I'm, I'm going to watch the whole thing. But I'm like halfway through it, but just so far, like what I've seen, mm-hmm. um, Dan Schneider, he's so weird. Like he would like not only would he like make the kids uncomfortable, but then the, his staff as well. Like he would make them do weird stuff. It's the fact that he came out with it. an interview. I don't want to watch They it. interviewed him, and he basically not denying anything, but also saying he owed people apologies about how his behavior was, this and that. But he never really, um, you know, like, said, no, I didn't do this stuff. But the thing is, is this is so much bigger. Like, I don't want to dive all in. Well, let's it, get back to the video. Okay, okay. Like, it's so much bigger. Let's get like, back to this. But it does, home. you know, connect. It yeah. all connects because we're talking about Nickelodeon. We're talking about St. Thomas. We're talking about Epstein, Epstein Island, yeah. which is right there. But so I came home Monday night and all I could think about was like, could I have done something? Should I have done something? Is this little girl okay? Or maybe I'm just fucking retarded and mm-hmm. I probably can't use that word. I'm probably <laughs> really <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just <laughs> overthinking it and I just need to calm down. Okay. And so I said, I woke up, it was Saturday morning at 4 a.m. I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, I need to check the reviews. 
Because you know how they leave fucking mm-hmm. weird reviews sometimes mm-hmm. in these places, yeah. right? And as soon as I went to the reviews, there was three reviews by three random men, and they all just happened within a few days. They happened. The dates on them was when I was there. Oh, my God. Okay? They all say five days ago. It was five fucking days ago. And the reviews, let's read them. If they're still there. Oh, I screenshotted them. Oh. <clears throat> Lita will forever And they're ever still there. Them. Okay. <laughs> she fucked all kind of stuff on her phone. All right. That's crazy. The first one. William Adams left three stars. Again, the day I was there, this review popped up. Or the day after I was there, this review came in. Made a great trip to Epstein's Island. 10 out of 10. I will be back soon. Wink. And then there's two boys. Pass the phone. Oh, now a drink is involved. The two boys? Uh, oh, what do you no. mean? I don't know. I don't know what wink means. Well, okay. So I can tell you twink like a, is a, a young male um, like sex worker kind of. But wink... Um, I seen on TikTok when I was looking it up a teenage white woman or something like a teenage white girl or something is what they used to refer wink oh as. God. But I don't know if that's that's just they TikTok get, and Urban Dictionary. Get kids, it's true. But let's see, wink on Urban Dictionary. Wait, wait. Yeah, I did. Urban. Did you see the second comment right under it? Yeah. How many stars? One, one my star says low key fire, a great view of the islands, or uh, the great view wink of the islands. What? And it was the hold on, the but great those view emojis wink. Is what's weird of the island? Wink. On Urban Dictionary, it Crazy. says yeah. It says what wink means when a skirt wearing girl quickly crosses her legs and gives a quick upskirt. I'm convinced that's literally. It's saying that it's like the flashing oh, of Lisa. Uh, I want to wait. I heard it. Sure hey, oh, okay. Let me um, let me get to one more. Um, that is freaking. Then the Zachary Torres left a one star review. Low key fire. Great view of the islands. Why what made that funny? weird for me is that it was a one star. Mm-hmm. So he mm-hmm. wasn't satisfied, which meant but, like. But he left a great review. Low key fire. A great view of the islands. And then the other one, Preston Kelser. Said great view, wink of the island of the island. Yeah, like, and anytime you do quotations, we all know like that means like of something else, obviously, so, like within something. You can pass that to her. This mm-hmm. to me means I'm not crazy. No, and some no. shit happened. Yeah. Lisa, Did you click why on do you these people? Be around stuff when stuff like I this don't happened? know. I don't know. Oh my god, you're supposed to be doing something about it. I told you. Well, I did something about it after. <laughs> yeah, so did these that, people have any other reviews? Did you no. Go, and these what people, the I, I, me and Jed have already That's looked them up. You know crazy. this. <laughs> I sent Jed some detective okay, and Jed, work. Like the investigator. Yeah. Like, she's and good. so they're fake people. Like obviously, somebody that leaves that is not going to put their fucking name on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and now. Y'all, there's a new review, and I haven't even told this on TikTok yet. There's a new review from a girl, but I don't know if this girl maybe saw my TikTok, Mm -hmm. and now she's leaving a bad review, Um, but this is what she says. On our page? No, no, girl, no. This has nothing to do with tone hair. Oh, (laughs) so This is the newest review on the St. Thomas Ritz-Carlton. Oh, okay. And it says, this is from Brittany Durbin. IDK, what, what is what I just had very bad vibe from the stay there? I had witnessed weird stuff happen that just didn't sit well with me. I don't recommend anyone go, nor I will I go back. Oh, shit. But, I, you know, I, I don't like to think that... <sighs> I don't want to be right about this situation. You know what I'm saying? I it's don't so want crazy. to be right about this. But like, did this girl see my video and post it? Or is this a real and and Jet looked her up and she's a real person and she's contacted her. You're because probably I want to talk to this one girl. That seen something like you probably not. Like in like the Ritz Carlton, yes, that is like the you know, the go-to spot for the rich people. But you know they always will put like they orchestrated so well to the point where 
like like you said, it'll be in people's faces and they won't notice it mm-hmm. because they're like, oh, these people have money. They're mm-hmm. in a nice yeah. place. Yeah. Nothing like that would happen here. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. yeah, they know everybody there is probably minding their own business, but they know what's going on. Mm-hmm. They just not saying nothing because, I mean, they probably don't feel like they care or it has anything to do with them. But that that is so wild to me. Uh, I, like I said, I would have never put out the video had I not woken up and checked the reviews. And then I said, fuck, that is... I have to say something because how weird is it? How far back did you go in the reviews? I mean, there's more, there's nothing else that's like that. That's like that? Right. Mm. But the fact that it happened few uh, uh, th- in the same time While frame that I was there, Yeah, that's fucking weird. And it's just the terms, and then y'all using the eye, like... The, 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 the y'all emojis. Like, that, that's really weird. It's little things the in there that don't sound right. The two little girls. It's just the quotations for me, and the wink, all capital, like... You know, they're every... Mean? So all the comments, and we'll go through some of the comments on this as well, but there was only one comment that said, well, Ritz Carlton's gonna sue her ass because she's doing... Uh, it's defamation. And then I put out a video today stating that this has nothing to do with the Ritz. Like, it's not, it's, I can't assume that the Ritz is putting this off. This is right now just people being people. It just happens to be at the Ritz in Mm -hmm. St. Thomas. But do I think that they're putting on a show there? I don't know. But I'm not saying that that's what's happening. I'm not saying the Ritz is doing it. Right. I'm saying this happened at the Ritz. But yeah. there's a possibility that they could be. Yeah. Well, but I'm not going to do that. Well, we're not pointing any fingers or anything, but I mean, we don't know. <laughs> there's that <So>. possibility. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but it was, it was just weird. It was just, when I woke up and I saw those reviews, I was like, instant. This something's wrong. You know, because, I'm gonna have to go um, deep diving on what that them terms are. Cause, well, so was oh, there a lot of kids there? Like, there wasn't a lot of kids, and I did say in the video, like the kids that were there were quiet, were very quiet. But those very, be the ones, like they keep them very, like they're scared to even say anything. And they're if they're there to work, like Kevin's saying, they're probably the most. Um, they only gonna talk when they trying to pull you in, just like they did with y'all. Oh. I mm-hmm. need to be put, picked up and put on the leg. Trying to act like a little baby, but really they probably most mature. But you know, and those uh, those three reviews, like I mean, it basically, I mean, to me, it was it was like telling other people this is the place. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. You wanted, like I had a great time. I had a, had the wink. You know, it's almost like when people go to a massage place and they're like, "Ooh, I really got a happy ending." Uh huh. It's kind of the same concept. Mm-hmm. You know, they're like letting everybody know in the reviews, like this is the place to go. It's like they're saying need. they're mm-hmm. saying it, but not for everybody to be able to understand. If you know, then you know, yeah, like, type of thing. Yeah, yeah, but like, don't you? I don't know. Like a, a regular person that had nothing to do with this situation. What do you think? That's a weird review, or no? I guess they're thinking we're yeah. not caring or we're not paying attention. But people like you know us who are looking, even the lady who commented. The new comment, people like that. There are like few people that are noticing it, but they're probably thinking people don't care, not looking at the reviews, like mm-hmm. Google reviews. But I look at every review for everything. I just, like, I, I, I think to for me, I think it's the same person that left all three comments, mm-hmm. and I think it's because it, it's weird because it, there's a five star, there's a three star, and there's a one star. But they're all the like each one of them was positive, good reviews. It was just, it was just fucking weird. Like, so you think it's one person? And none of them have yeah. any other reviews. None of them have any other reviews, mm-hmm. and they're not people. Jet looked into it. She's like, these are not like, it's not a person, like a actual person. Yeah. Like it's a person, obviously doing it, but behind a fake, fake account. Yeah, fake account. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's just that's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, just too much. Well, I, I know we it. had brought this up on the last podcast a little bit, but like, there's more stuff coming out about it. The P Diddy thing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, well, I, I feel like I, I, I felt... you're still not in the loop about P Diddy. No, I mean, oh, so but let me tell you, he kind of leaves the country. Going to be... oh, all his houses got raided, and now he's MIA. Y'all, he's about to be the downfall. So yeah, they y'all said he tried how... to leave. He left the country um, to an unextradited state or something. Country. 
Country. Y'all know how they need somebody to be the fall guy for something. The distraction. Yeah, and the, 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 the distraction, yes. Um, but I believe he is part of the whole, like, Overall, the entertainment um, industry is probably doing some type of um, sex trafficking with kids or just in general Um, or doing these like sexual assaults to them. So I feel like he's probably somewhere within that. They like cool. Everybody's already blaming him. Let's go ahead and take all the um, like all the the heat off of the Nickelodeon, Disney, all that other stuff, even Epstein, like and let's just put it all on him, basically. Okay, here, that's why I stop you right there. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think. Okay. Because I think right now every celebrity is desperate because nobody's paying a fucking attention to them at all. Mm -hmm. And they're doing anything to grasp our attention right now. Well, I don't think P. Diddy wanted this any of this to happen no. to him. This all started, but they've been this saying all started stuff with like Cassie this. suing him. They've been, <laughs> they've been saying stuff about P. Diddy for years, though. That they he was have. gay and whatnot. Yeah, but like, they've had allegations about him for years, about him... Almost back stuff. to, like, him grooming Usher to Usher grooming um, Justin Bieber. Like, all that stuff, like, all goes down... I don't know. The line stuff. I like saw that. this weird I don't video. Know. I, just, I think that celebrities are regular people. And I think, and I know, like the whole Illuminati thing for celebrities is just a fake out. It's to make you more invested in them. Like, oh, did you see what they just did? They did the triangle. <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, yeah. I mean, literally, that's. I just know he's going through a lot right now. And I know his ex wife, I don't know, the PD thing is a little bit more invested in something different. It may not tie into whole everything, but he got a lot going on his own that he needs to just be on the lookout. Like he's tied into murders, like his own wife, like a lot of stuff. And that's just within the whole like rap. Have community. you seen like the Meek Mill videos and stuff? <laughs> the- <laughs> Where he's calling, oh, he's he's calling, calling Meek Mill he's like, daddy. <laughs> yeah. Like all what? that stuff is totally something separate, but I definitely <laughs> feel like P. Diddy is like the next R. Kelly. And they about to take him down, literally. There's going to be about a documentary to be, of yeah, him he about, sure. It's going to be surviving, our, no, surviving P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> or um, what, he call, what he call himself? Um, call me love. Sur- <laughs> <laughs> surviving love. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. Yo, literally. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, you know, what kind of... Like, everybody's talking about Ryan Garcia and all the shit that he's oh, come yeah. out with. Oh, but so yeah. Yeah, I'm going I'm on tell now. you, I saw he I went know. out live on TikTok. And the amount of money that he got, people were throwing hats on him, sunglasses. Yeah. I, mean, I cannot believe how much money he's getting. And at first, I was falling for it, but now I'm like, okay, I, mean, I, I don't think know. it's all. It sounds like, I feel like it does. Yeah. It does. It sounds so fake now. And like, mm-hmm. yeah, some of the stuff you're saying, we already know. So he's just re- repeating what we already been seeing on TikTok, mm-hmm. literally. I mean, the fact that they had this man like crying and like yeah. saying all, I mean, who knows though? Yeah, but the who thing knows? is, they could be I didn't know who the fuck he was before all this, <laughs> you and I know. No, how the yeah. fuck do I know who this is? He's a box. So. I'm sure fifty percent of people didn't know who he was. Now, people know who he is. True, true. I mean, I he was a lot just. Of people knew he was when he got his ass beat by. <laughs> He was big Tank. in the yeah, he was big in the boxing in the world, boxing but now world. it's becoming more of a mainstream thing. Mm-hmm. Like he's starting I feel like a lot yeah, of people why is he doing like um YouTube videos boxing. now with like um these I mean, YouTube influencers? That's like the one YouTube influencer, the blonde guy who became a boxer. Oh who Logan Which, Paul? Logan, oh yeah, yeah, Logan Paul, like, yeah. It's all yeah, that that right there. There's a I Jake don't Paul. Believe. Jake, oh, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. Same thing. You look the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's. I mean, it could all be a publicity it's stuff, but then there's distraction that thought, like, right what now. if it actually is real? Like, what if there's truth in what they say? That's what I think it is. Part half truth and half like. But like I said, it's stuff that we, he's already saying that we already know. Right. So, so he's getting all this attention off stuff that. We've already seen, me and Lita already seen videos about, mm-hmm. like, he's talking about stuff that we be talking, like, sending videos of. Mm-hmm. But all he doing is seeing the same video that we've seen, but mm-hmm. he has a better, or, like, you know, a higher platform, so everybody's listening to mm-hmm. him. But the weird thing about what was coming out with, about Ryan Garcia, he was mentioning a lot about children. Mm-hmm. Children. Yeah, and that, um, that, that, like, gross. triggers people. Um, yeah, it's a trigger alert. I mean, I, I, in my opinion... 
They know what the fuck they're doing. Even J Lo knows what the fuck she. You think her PR <laughs> she people? She loves that. She loves the fact that picking on her right now. Let her put out some stupid documentary, knowing that she's not going to get some heat for it. Please, they know. They know exactly. I heard they wasn't trying to fund it, so she paid for most of it. <laughs> yeah, That's but I guarantee that. One of the PR people put out a shit video about her. Probably. I mean, that's, I mean I they, didn't I just, want, they didn't want her to have I that video out, I swear. Out of the whole situation, I'm <laughs> just don't. upset the concert was canceled. <laughs> Same. <laughs> like, I was really looking forward to actually going to her concert. That's crazy. You know? I said, because she put on a show for real. Oh, she couldn't. Dang. But the, here's the deal. You said she couldn't. Everybody's what? talking about her right now. Damn. That's crazy. People love, people in Miami love J-Lo. Yeah. <laughs> They are really picking I mean, on her right now about that. <laughs> well, Jayla, we had we had Jenny bought the tickets. We yeah, was gonna come. I wear my hair like this. You, I, again, this is why I'm not like you can't listen to half the shit I say because I don't believe anything, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm the type of person that I know how marketing works. I know how like this these companies work, and to me, I, I feel like it was a strategic plan. Here you go, JLo. <laughs> We're going to put out this stupid documentary. Then we're going to the cancel. The documentary has been out for a while now, though. Okay, I'm surprised people are we're just now. Okay, how about this? How about this? Surprise Nobody people. cared about your stupid documentary. <laughs> Let's you fuck them up by tour. canceling all these, court, all these um, concerts. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get people talking about you. That's possible. I mean, that's but I just possible. feel like that's so redundant. Like, why does that, that... To me, that just doesn't make sense because it's going to... The fact that they have to refund so many people. Like, yeah, yeah my that's money sold for out. Them. That's a lot. But Still the fact a lot that we're sitting tickets. here for 15 minutes talking about her. And then you know how many priceless. remakes of that video that you even did, Lena? That's <laughs> priceless. So they're probably making a lot of money off of just getting the money exactly. back oh from that. Oh, that. That's what I'm talking about. Because that Lena didn't even know what was going on. She just remade the video. <laughs> Julia, Lena, can we get a little preview? <laughs> she said... I, I remember when I used to wear my hair like this, and I'm just a crazy kid from the Bronx. <laughs> used to run up and down the street. Oh my god! Like, so let's find that video real quick. It was so funny, though. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get it. I want to see. I I saw the documentary, but I don't remember the original clip. Yeah, the yeah. documentary the was original like a clip musical. after like this, this one. Reminded me like when I was sixteen in the ball, running up and down the block. Crazy little girl. The fact that you're wearing the same shirt, Lena. Wow. <laughs> but even like the whole, she had like the whole fit without even needing to look. <laughs> Click on the sound leader and find the original one so uh, Kaylin can see. Cause honey, so like, she just dramatic. That's all. It's the music. Crazy little girl. Hey. Wild, no limits, all dreams. Oh, you're so quirky. <laughs> it's like she not. She's still in her prom time. If that's what she wants to say, like you don't make a documentary unless you like. I mean, I've you're getting them. older, or you like feel like you're, you're no longer relevant. So it's like people were confused on why she did that documentary when you still feel like you're relevant now to this day. I feel like, <laughs> like the documentary it was, wasn't even really a documentary. It was like a musical. It was, and that's what she said. She made it into a musical because she wanted it to be shown in a different way. And so then you're doing all this extra stuff that nobody likes musicals. Like nobody likes I musicals. I felt like I was watching <laughs> one of those musical my mom used. <laughs> To play she when I was growing up, like all her, like, it just all every story video. was a song, it and says, it was stupid. It says J Lo gets humbled in the Bronx, and like she's like walking up to some man, oh, and he's like, <laughs> I seen that, and she's like, I lived here. Oh yeah, yeah. She's, she's like, like who, who are you, <laughs> Jennifer? Like, <laughs> and, she was, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like she's making herself seem more like just let your time become a legend over time, and let that happen. You're trying to force people to be like. You know, that Jello, she was that woman. Like, yeah, you still is. So let it continue to be until you get a little older. Mm -hmm. You know, like, let it your time pass. I guess for me, I just, I don't get it as her trying to, I don't know. Just because it was Maybe a musical, it threw me off. She just, just putting attention to herself, like, I couldn't look at me. get the documentary vibe. Like, I couldn't. What was supposed well, to be? Two. There was the documentary, and then there was the full on musical. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, that was like so a movie. So it's like a two separate thing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The music <laughs> thing was at the end of the documentary, right? Yeah, so it like tied it all together. Oh, okay. All I was last seen was the okay. musical one, and I had to cut that shit off. <laughs> yes, she, I, like, I hate musicals. She, she danced through the rain. I felt like, like I was watching Cats and the whatever that musical is called on Broadway. High school musical something. Like, that's what it was giving, and it was just like, <laughs> But hello. High school musical even He's has so more talented. You there really was are. It was just straight Again, singing. we've spent 20 minutes talking about J-Lo. <laughs> She's loving every fucking second. She is. Yeah. Jenny from the block. You did your job. You did. She is still relevant. Still, that's the game. Staying relevant. Yeah. Having your name be like you know how I am. In people's Speaking mouth, to whether the it's universe. good or bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and she well, does that. Literally, I heard she do like do like a lot of like manifestation out loud words. Well, I mean, nobody. I, I, people want their name said, whether it's good or bad, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so. Mm-hmm. It's getting there. I know. Mm-hmm. You're like Joe. Joe is very much like Lita. Like when Bud Light did their thing and like they their stock went down and their, you know, all this shit happened because they came out with that Bud Light trans thing. I don't know. Um, Joe was like, they just fucked themselves. I said, no, they didn't. They did this shit on purpose. You're talking about them. We're fighting about them right now. They're in a few years, everybody's gonna forget what Bud Light mm-hmm. did, and you're gonna know their fucking name. Mm-hmm. And that's the way it is. That is how it goes in that type of industry. And just the planet fitness depressed. thing that's going on. <laughs> what planet what fitness? What planet fitness? Oh. So apparently, so there was a man <laughs> who identified as a woman who was in the locker room, the women's locker room, and there was a little girl in there, and she was like, I don't know if she was scared or what, but this woman was like, Dude, you gotta get out of here. And he's like, no, like I'm I identify as a woman. Mm-hmm. And Planet Fitness, uh, she took the video, Planet Fitness took his side, and now everybody's canceling their memberships. And there's videos about it, like oh. how they're canceling and empty gyms and well, they know they gotta go up there and cancel it because they won't let you cancel on the phone. <laughs> I've been trying to cancel my gym membership for the longest. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> You gotta go um, there. I, I feel like that topic is very sensitive, but also like everybody has so many opinions about it. Yeah. I mean, it. But it's technically, just if he crazy. is um, like physically looking and identify, they, he can be in there. So, well, he didn't. Look, he looked like a man. Oh well, then that's, that's <laughs> a different, that's a different I think story. Was, though I think he was shaving his beard. Yeah, like, that's a different story. But like I, I was told. <laughs> They pass some kind of law that if they identify and look like that um, gender role, then they can be there. Mm. Which is scary, well, actually, because, I mean... They kind of be, <laughs> they be like, pro, like, pro, like, this is the most controversial <laughs> podcast we've ever done. Yeah. Okay, well, moving on. Let's talk about Kellogg's. What? What about Kellogg's? <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Is that better? Okay. It was that Jenny it was from that the, little. It was that yeah, Jenny. It was the, <laughs> Jenny, just a girl from Queens, right? <laughs> Crazy little girl. Crazy little girl. <laughs> okay, so Kellogg. Let's talk about Kellogg's real quick. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, we have to talk about it because you know I'm all about ingredients and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, one of our snacks is going to be a very healthy snack that I brought. Okay, mm-hmm. you're going to see why. But it's chips, so it's good. That's from the place we you took me. Um, they do have it, yes. Oh, yeah. Man. There's select places that have this brand. It's actually from Maine in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, but Kellogg's, you know, their their whole uh, Frosted Flakes commercial where they're like, I know you're broke right now, but go ahead and eat this for dinner. You can have Frosty Flakes for dinner. And it's like, no, like, nobody wants fucking Frosty Flakes. And you know how <laughs> Frosty, <laughs> Frosty Flakes. <laughs> Frosty Flakes. <laughs> no, we want fucking Frosty <laughs> Flakes. <laughs> Let me get Frosty Flakes. Frosty you Flakes. Know, right. He used to put Frosty Flakes in the freezer because what? he was like, yes, yeah, it's better in the freezer. I'm like, what? You no, know, it's not because it's frosted. Like, it's I'll different. I'm give it a cool. <laughs> anyway, give it that crunch. <laughs> another subject. But, um, yeah, so everybody's like hating on Kellogg's, right? And they're like, we're not buying Kellogg's. But then they're going around and they're buying the other stuff. Well, Kellogg's owns all most of the shit. Do. They really they do. They own everything. They own about all of them. Okay? <laughs> so even if you buy the knockoff, it's by <laughs> Kellogg's, right? Yeah. So now people are like, okay, let's make our own Frosted Flakes. 
or reg regular <laughs> flakes, whatever the fuck you want. I watched this one video. It took this guy like three fucking hours to make some fucking a cup of it. <laughs> and, not a cup of and, it. And, How did he make it and why? Not they I mean, really seriously making make their own series. batter, and then you had to lay it on parchment paper. Then you put it in the oven. And then you broke it up, and then you had to go. I mean, he had to do all this shit, and he was probably very sweet and just making a very innocent video. <laughs> but it took like two years, and then he's eating this one cup, and it doesn't even have the sound on it didn't even look crunchy like oh my god it was like okay look i get, like i i don't eat it like if i can't un pronounce the ingredients i don't eat it mm -hmm. for the most part unless i have to right like i ate one of your chicken tenders from bojangles <laughs> just now you eat chicken from bojangles i do too. but i only trust i only right now i only trust meat on a bone so you'll only catch me eating chicken breasts on a bone. I feel like all of it's fake if it's coming from Bojangles. It don't matter if it's on a bone or not. If I, you can't fake a bone. The, the lab meat grown, is there's no bones on it. So I will stick to chicken wings. I will stick to actual chicken breasts with bone. I will get a filet with a bone in. Whatever it is, I'm getting a bone. Mm -hmm. Or I'm not eating it at all. That's period. That's how mm -hmm. I'm running my life right now. And if the ingredients, if I can't and pronounce them, if I don't know what it is, then I'm not eating it. Okay? <laughs> so that's just the way I do things anyway. But anyways, it's just, it's just the whole Kellogg's thing is just, it's just crazy. But and then when you find out how cereal. much they actually own. And really, if you go in a supermarket, like, it's all run by, like, nine corporations right the same different corporations own all these other different mm -hmm. corporations mm -hmm. so it's almost like you're damned if you do and you're damned mm -hmm. if you don't they really at don't care point, if you bash this one like, 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 um, at this point it's like, like what's real what well, is it right like, even <laughs> i have a friend who told me he's like you know most seeds are genetically modified Mm -hmm. So yeah. even if you try to fucking grow your own shit, it's yeah. fucking... Yeah, they was like, the watermelons, <laughs> like, talking about the watermelons. I think I spoke this with your mother before, like, the fruits and stuff. You really can't trust the fruit because they mm -hmm. now growing fruit that <laughs> is not... Ask my mom about a seedless grape. She will go yeah, nuts. Yeah, she was telling me about seedless... She was, she was, she was telling me, like, oh, you don't eat yeah, the seedless oh, yeah, grape, she was seedless like, watermelon. Don't she don't have play none of that, literally. House. She's like, no sugar vegetable... the devil. No yeah, vegetable should be seedless. <laughs> yeah, she said, if you see anything, she's like, if you don't see any seeds, don't eat it. And she was telling me, like, about how they have fruit out that's not even mm -hmm. in the right season. Mm -hmm. She was like, so they're basically making it. Mm -hmm. And she was just telling me a lot. Well, is it not lot. possible to create a greenhouse with the environment of the season it takes to grow a certain fruit? Well, I'm going to actually experiment that because I'm getting a little greenhouse for the backyard. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Who's going to do that? You? That's what Joe That's said. Cool. <laughs> I feel like I help you, I feel like Lita's going to be adding another employee to her list. The gardener. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy you come by and, um, oh, sure. you, I'm not there, but you can just go around the back and um, just you know, water, cut on the water but sprinklers. <laughs> also, can you take sideline? Right. And also, can you go inside Lucy, and make up my bed? Watering the tomatoes and talking on sideline at the same time. And then the right. And keeping the salon. Can you just happen to go upstairs and make my bed? I She's forgot. She's going to be like, Lucy, I need you to go drop this off at the post office for Poshmark. I need you to go drop these tomatoes off at the farmer's market and sell those. You're going to have to sell them right. for six hours too but by the way I'm pretty sure tell and them while I'm you're doing that off. share on Facebook <laughs> make a story of it all right <laughs> And then Harry up and send it to me. And don't forget to make your final post of the day. And call me right. Right. Yeah, no, <laughs> And call me with the gallon back. Okay, bye. She like, okay, never bye. call me when you're done. <laughs> yeah, never call me when you're you done. You can already call, call with one of us, and I'll be like, okay, yeah. I'll be like, I'll call me. Drink, get, drink, drink, drink. She was like, is that Lita? We said, yeah. She said, Talk all right, Lita, I'll call you in five minutes. Get in the car. <laughs> get in the car. She called Bob right past us. She called me the other day, and she's like, you didn't call me when you were done. He's like, I just left. She wanted no, to do still at the salon. Oh, and I was like, <laughs> it was the video where you wanted to do the beeping of my um fire alarm. And he was like, but oh you never called God. me back. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, we were talking on the phone and her fire alarm was, was beep. No. And I don't know if you saw that video. <laughs> it was just one video that just happened to be going viral at the time, too. And so when Lita said, she just she didn't even say what it was, but I, I knew exactly laughing. what she was about to say because I know she'd be on TikTok so much. Is it the fire detector? <laughs> oh, and then like, like, like white people and black people. And it's I like, I never talk. noticed the thing. <laughs> black talk is my, my jam. <laughs> And Lita was like, 
is that your? I said, yes. <laughs> she said, we got to make a video of it. Yes. And it's we are going off to the day, and I don't be paying no attention to it. We did a live. We did a live team adding one day, and... Um, when we ended the live, we see like the first video on your feed, and it was that black man with like the <laughs> or with, with like this, it was like a leopard print like <laughs> wrestler type of outfit, and it was like he was you just be on black talk. Yeah. 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 We know that's all we're saying. I we live she, on it. Yeah, did. I told but, you every time I swipe up in the comment because I look at comments for everything. You know, like, and I'm always the leader on the comment. The comments, Me too. I'm I'm like, like, too. The comments are usually <laughs> funnier than the video. <laughs> I came here for the comments, literally. The comments had me rolling. <laughs> I'm like, people are funny. <laughs> Comedians. <sighs> All right. Well, let's finish this off with some snacks. And the verdict is still out on the St. Thomas Fritz Carlton thing. I know we've like skipped around a lot, but I think we've covered a lot tonight. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> We're very unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> Every very. time. <laughs> um, I am still going to, I'm still investigating that. So I'm going to do some I, research. Too. Yes. Yeah. I think, I think we all should. And if y'all comments, know anything, comment. I mean, I, I really want y'all's opinion on what Wink is, but I feel like we all know what it is, is the bottom line. Mm -hmm. And definitely something weird happened there. And I think that we all need to open up our eyes to what's really going on. And I feel like, this is just my opinion, we should stop focusing on celebrities. I think they're a waste of time. I think we should be focusing on what's actually happening in front of our faces mm -hmm. in real time. And in I, real life. I feel like we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, the world is black. Okay. True. <laughs> Life her. Also, look up flatter. This bitch. I truly believe it because we know. They don't want to more every day. I believe and believe every day. She said it. We know. <laughs> All right. We're starting off with this snack. It's called Carolina Kettle. Cool. Um, I actually tried to look hook them up on a Instagram post last night to tag them. And they don't have a fucking Instagram. Mm. I don't think they have any social media because there's nothing on this bag. But you know what that means to me? They They're don't need keeping it. it simple. Yeah, I would say they actually. Just, it's just a. It's nice an company. actual. <laughs> they're not out for nothing but mm -hmm. making good chips, yeah. right? The ingredients here. Oh shit! This has more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the, okay, the regular sea salt chips that I had last night. Potatoes, sea salt, sunflower oil. That's it. That's it. This one, because it's barbecue, I guess, has some more stuff that has like some it's potatoes, food. sunflower oil, barbecue seasoning, um, yeast extract, spices, citric acid. There is natural flavors, which I don't love that. Um, because, you know, natural flavors is kind of like the fragrance. fragrance. Mm -hmm. um, but the sea salt and the vinegar are 100% clean. That's However, funny. that being said... It does say no, no preservatives, gluten-free, kosher certified, no trans fat, um, no MSG, nut-free. Um, oh, that's funny. This one doesn't say non-GMO. The oh, fuck? <laughs> She's like, what did I pick up? I'm sorry, Lord. So it's not healthy. Okay, so it's not as healthy as their other ones, which is But it's better than Doritos. <laughs> what is that yes. one in six snacks? What's that say? Um, in the corner. Top. One, I don't know. It's something. One in six snacks. I forgot what that means. But anyways, it's made here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're going to try it. This is the barbecue. Down East Carolina barbecue. It's got flames. I hope it's not too spicy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Kaylin, mm. it has spice. Let me see spice. Good, though. Liz does the best. Boots never. They are good. Yeah. They're better than, better than your Indian chi chips mm. a couple weeks ago. Those roasted chicken chips, they were pretty good. Yeah, they were I'm pretty not fun. Gonna... Yeah. The other ones tasted like noodles, ramen. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. <laughs> Let's just all get one more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, they, were, like, they have the crunchiest <laughs> chips. 
I, I love, love kettle, kettle corn. corn. Neither. Neither. Not kettle corn. <laughs> you know, I, kettle, 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 yes. I do like kettle My corn. My favorite though. brand is the um, Cape, Co uh, Cape Cods. I feel like I this the salt one, and pepper one. When you try one. these, this, the, the other ones, they're so much better. I like when you took me to the store um, and we got some. The, I had like the garlic and oh, rosemary. rosemary. Mm -hmm. Girl, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, Cape Cod was my favorite. Like they whole brand of every, like the whole flavors. I like the Vic. What is it, Vicky's? No. Mm -hmm. That's the off brand of Cape Cod, though. That's yeah. not as good. It's not as greasy. That's the off brand of the Cape Cod. No. <laughs> All right. Now, I got this from St. Thomas at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Caribbean rum balls. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put balls in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Everybody get a ball. <laughs> or two. <laughs> <laughs> or two. <laughs> Speaking of which... Um, <laughs> what? Um, what, what? Today we had a, I had a conversation with one of, one of my clients who got PR a vampire facial, and that's where they take um, her blood and they centrifuge it, centrifuge it, and then they put it back, put in. it on your face or whatever. And I said, "Did you hear the thing about period blood?" What did they say? Mm -hmm. She oh my didn't God. know what to I'm say. I'm sorry, y'all, but <laughs> on the time of the month, and I pulled out that <laughs> pulled out my uh, tampon, and I was like. Kind of want to look at this blood and do something. What did I know? Well, what to allegedly, do there's stem blood, stem stem cells in it. I was looking and at it. And it can actually like heal wounds, and mm. you can put it on your. I, I'm not Apparently. putting that shit on my face. But is that because probably it's like not your regular blood? It's like your. I don't know what it is. I've heard that. But I've been hearing that the for best. a long time now, though. But that... then tell her, tell tell us what you said today. Oh, that. <laughs> what. <laughs> Semen also, they say it's good for your skin. There's this girl. Yeah. There's this girl that I've seen on Instagram. She's doing like a series where she pretty much freezes it and she uses it as an ice cube on her face every morning. And her skin is like glass skin. Like it's so smooth and it looks like just really clean. Where are we Side finding note. semen to Side freeze note. it up into an ice cube, though? I know about she that. She says that she gets her boyfriend to put it in a cup, and she freezes it. Second note, our um, our creams is good for the hair. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> Tested it. Wow. <laughs> Drink it's, it. It is. It, 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 mm. Viewers, <laughs> mother. <laughs> Don't look at right. Don't Here's watch this. some chocolate ball nuts <laughs> but yeah. in your mouth. What's in there? Is it there nuts like in it? It tastes like salt. Suntan lotion. Huh? It Ew. smells like it. <laughs> Why? Is it because of your bag? <laughs> Is there nuts in the middle? Is it coconut? Anything? Okay. Did she say Is there coconut in it? Did you say coconut? Not I'm like going to eat it anyways, but... but... Yeah, not like I'm allergic. It is a... Oh, pina colada. Oh, that's why it smells like that. Actually, I think there's liquor in it. It, it smells it? like like sunscreen. It smells like rum. It does smell like rum. Ugh, it smells like uh, it smells like Malibu. It smells like a lot. Okay, <laughs> we said like it's like rum, the coconut a little bit, the pina just colada. It. <laughs> it's actually good though. It's and better I than like your pina saliva colada. pills. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't even like pina colada. That's actually good. Oh my. No, I don't, but. Ugh. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. What is the texture inside? But then again, Kaylin doesn't always like dramatic. Ugh. She doesn't Ugh. like coconut. What is this stuff? Like, what is that? Oh, I hate Chewy. coconut. I'm sorry. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, the next thing. I hope it's better than my that. My client made this for me. Oh, she's Easter so sweet. Cookie. <laughs> Candace is like the sweetest. <gasps> oh, yes. pretty Candace. Yes. yes. She Aww. is just drop dead gorgeous. She is. She does not look great. I rage. just put that whole thing in my mouth. I taste like I just took a shot. <laughs> like, for real. That one. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't think I just took a wow. shot. Nobody's allergic to peanut butter? Mm. I love peanut butter. <laughs> oh, you're about oh. to love this. Oh, this shit's good. Mm. <laughs> I may not pass it down. <laughs> you're dropping. Uh -oh. Sorry, Solomon. 
<laughs> the flower. The way she went. At least it's, it's still right. a <laughs> Like, no. she just had fun that no. shit. I got love my pants. No. Pinky. <laughs> mm, that looks good as straight peanut butter, ain't it? It's that looks true. like a Reese's egg. That's, I did. That's it's what good. she tried to make it as. She made a homemade Reese's. Aww. Easter egg. Mm. Mm. It's so thick. Mm. Damn, that thing's a <laughs> big <laughs> honker. <laughs> That is like heaven. She's so sweet. Mm. I love Candace. Now I love her even more. Drink a leg. Let me go back on the side where nobody bit at. She's like, I gotta be different. I popped a little jelly bean in my mouth. I was gonna take one. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna take one loose. It's a whole lot of. Oh my God. I love when clients bring us homemade stuff. I was really good. <laughs> Sam usually gets the the clients that bring him homemade stuff. There was this mm. one client that brought him these soft baked cookies, but they she were like a business. Thick. She sells them. Yes, and they were so good. She brought this one. Mm. One of them brought like this meat and this gravy with some rice. I said, mm. yeah, it was good. Yeah, Sam was sitting right here. <laughs> And he was like, yeah, my clients call me all the time. And they're like, do you want the food? And I'm like, no, baby. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> yes, bitch. Yeah, they ask no. him all the time. Like, you never say he no. I'm hungry. Some. Right. <laughs> and Anna, no. Anna be like, and I, Anna be trying to feed me. She said, I said, why you give me your food, Anna? She said, because you need energy. <laughs> she said I was going to kill it down a day. Hopefully, mm, Anna will come good. on the podcast soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. I think she'll do it. Same by way anymore. Good. Mm. All right. I don't want any cavities. <laughs> well, I was thinking about it. But I was like, yeah, sweet. Mm. Well, it's good. It's been interesting. Yes, it <laughs> And controversial. <laughs> Hopefully, we gain some followers. Yeah. Um, if you guys are interested, we are all at Tone Hair Salon. You can come visit us anytime. Mm. Book an appointment. Let's let's bring it. Um <laughs> You can find this episode and all other episodes on Hair and There on Spotify, Apple, and YouTube, Lita Fazal. And um, yeah, we're at Tone Hair Salon. We are fabulous hairdressers. We do extensions. We do dematings. And Luce is our, this is who you'll be talking to when you call in. Face of the Call in if you want to talk to Luce. Hair voice. <laughs> Yeah. Call in. <laughs> Rainy. Oh, right. Check out the call. Weird. Call. You just, you just had call to make, I was just her doing voice. the sign off. <laughs> and you, you just had to make shit weird. But, call in, but hear her voice. Luce is not going to let them dial the phone without booking an appointment, though. <laughs> Good save. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> thank you, guys. Here. And see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>